We're out here with a countertop nugget machine that will dispense water, but for some reason is not filling the water reservoir to make ice. Let's take a look. I've removed the panels on the side and the back in order to get good visibility to this water reservoir for you. As you can see, our float safety switch is in the downward open position and our float for the water fill valve is in the downward position where it should be filling this reservoir with water. As you can see, this is a very simple system, mechanical fill valve operated by a float. If we follow the fill valve line down to where it originates from, you'll see here our water inlet connection is right here. Right underneath this metal pan, it's a little hard to see, but there is a T connection. From there, the water travels up to the water cup fill solenoid. There's really nothing in this system that would restrict flow to this valve, to the inlet of this valve, if we confirm that we have water coming out of the front at the fill valve. From this point, I would disconnect water from the machine, disassemble this fill valve, and take a look at the tiny orifice that's inside here. I'm gonna put a graphic on the screen to show just how small it is and how easy it is to get clogged up. If your machine is not regularly maintained, you will get some scale buildup inside of that and restrict water flow to the fill. Also, if you're not running a water filtration system that is adequate for this machine or the filters haven't been changed in a long time, you could get some sediment built up inside of that valve. I have cleaned out the orifice of the valve. And as you can see now, if they're reconnecting water, we are filling up. Now that our water reservoir has filled up and our float switch is now in the upward position, we now have the water light on the control board. The machine will go into a 15 minute delay and then it should start making ice.